Hello ladies and gentlemen, I should say good evening. As you can tell we have lights. Uh, during the Christmas period I decided to pimp up the studio a bit, you know, give us some ambient lighting. Um, hopefully sort of get the creative juices flowing once more uh, for the new year. It just gets a bit dark in here sometimes and I thought I could do with nice, some nice warm ambient lighting and you know, so investing in some LED strips from Nanoleaf. Video's not sponsored by them, it's just um, I've seen their products and I thought it'd be nice and you can do all sorts of different colours. I'll go to that in another video because this video is about a new patch line that's coming out from uh, Rocky Mountain Sounds from a chap called Alan Polly. I hope I've said your name right there mate. Uh, if not, my apologies. So and this is, is, is Ancestry for Omnisphere um, and before I start if the voice sounds slightly different it's because i'm using the lav mic because for some strange reason my normal microphone for the studio has decided to start doubling so i get sort of my voice in like an echo which is really bizarre because i've changed nothing in obs changed nothing in my audio interface but it just started to do it this afternoon really weird but i need to get this video done so i thought i know what i'll fire up the lav mic and see what happens so here we go, without further ado, we're going to start going through this patch library. And um, this patch library actually consists of 200 patches with 63 different sound sources. Uh, you also get a Unify patch library with it as well, which um, I, I can't do because I don't have Unify, but this is gonna take you through the Omnisphere version of it, which sits inside Unify. If you have Unify, you'll know what I mean by Omnisphere sitting inside Unify here. So it goes from soulful keys and organs to ethereal pads and polysynths. And Ancestry has something for every producer and composer, but this library is more than just a collection of patches. It's a true sound narrative, organizing patches into a storyline that follows our imaginary journey back in time. Experience the history of music in a whole new way. So that's the premise of this library. So without further ado, we'll start off with the ARP and BPM side. And we start with Funk a strum. And as I always say in these libraries, is experiment with the wad wheel. See what it does. This one says just play the chords and use the mod wheel for much more space and oddities. So for those who haven't seen my other videos, my mod wheel is actually connected to a pedal underneath the desk uh, for these both hands to play. It's absolutely fantastic, it's a godsend, because that means you can use both hands instead of having to use one hand up here with the mod wheel. Uh, lay thee down to sleep. I love this patch, side to side, it's beautiful. You're just playing with the mod wheel subtly up and down. It tells a story of its own. Triplet soldiers. Let's go in the major key for a change. So there's some simple ops, and we're going to some BPM bass pads. I'm not going to announce every single um, patch in the sense of what it's called, because it's sort of like salty telling you, I'm sure you can read on the screen what it says here, but it's a BPM bass anyway.
That's a lovely sound. Let's just have a quick look to see what, what's actually happening in these uh, this patch. So if we go into modulation, we can see what's actually happening here. Anything that's grey means it's on the other channel. So if I go to layer B, I say other channel, other layer. Um, anything that's greyed out means you need to swap to another layer. So anything lit up means it belongs to this to that layer. So if I'm in layer A, I've got everything that's lit up. So the wheel's messing around with wave shape and depth. So it's doing something with the wave shape, it's doing with this, something with the arp length. You've got a random generator messing with the synth shape. So there's quite a lot going on. Um, and if we go to layer B, uh, the wheel, mod wheel is going to be messing around with cutoff, unison, synth symmetry, arp length. Uh, has he gone to page two? He has as well. He's gone to page two as well. So. The wheel also does a filter envelope depth, so the wheel is actually doing quite an awful lot in this. So if you just nip to the RPC, it's got a little bit of a ratchet on each bit there. Um, and the, so we've got an amp, a bass amp, some delay, yeah, it's a very nice sound. <laughs> some percussion time. Uh, I'll go for middle C on the percussion. So, um, okay. it is pitched. Uh, so, if you, if you play further down the keyboard, the sound gets a little bit, uh, I think it's like, it's a bit, bit darker. If you're wondering how I'm changing the sounds so quick, is is I'm literally hitting the down arrow on me on my keyboard here. Uh, you know, my normal magic keyboard uh, for the. And what happens uh, is once you're in the uh, patch library here and choosing your patches, you can just press the down arrow on your keyboard instead of having to go for your mouse pad or your uh, your mouse or trackball or whatever you're using. Quite handy. So don't be afraid to experiment with the mod wheel as well, because it does vary the sound subtly on each one of these. See, there you get more crunch. Back the mod wheel off. More hollow. Ooh, sorry about that. So that's a percussive kick. That's interesting. There's a little pitch going on if you look at arpeggiator. So it's going an octave up and an octave, two octaves up. So first pass is two octave up, octave up, octave up, two octaves up. Quite, quite interesting.
So what you could do with these is actually layer them in using the multi, which you know, if we've got time at the end of the video, uh, we will do. I might actually do a separate video just to show you what happens when you layer these. mod wheel on here just absolutely washes out the sound. It's probably gonna do something with reverb or something other thing than that. Yeah, there we go. Loads of reverb. So you, that will mean when you go to the modulation you'll see that the wheel uh common auxiliary returns so that's gonna bring on the reverb and the reverb goes literally full whack. So if you ever need a washed out sound just add loads of reverb that usually tends to do the trick. You just got to be careful with the release on the on that when you do that, or you're gone forever in a day. So we've got bass in the left hand. I clock this in sound. So that's nice. So what's he done there? Yes, I thought as much. It's the bias. Good old bias. That's a way of doing uh, a split without using a, an, using one of these multis. Um, you can actually just use bias. So you can have channel A. I've, I've, I've shown in a vi previous video, which uh, I will link to. Um, what you can do is get one layer to actually only play up to a certain part on the keyboard and another layer to then take over quite a powerful little thing which doesn't get used that often so we're going on to bpm textures here now now purposefully keeping this neither major or minor because I'm, what I'm doing is playing I'm playing the root and the fifth of the note of C major or C minor so I'm playing three C's and a G so we'll pick whether you're playing C minor or a chord of C and again ooh that's nice So I've played a few, a few of these sounds and went about the track for this library, but I didn't get time to play through all of them. So uh, this is, some of these are quite new to me, these sounds, some of these sounds. So that's why I thought, oh, that's nice. Um, so Melodic Machines, sequence based. Another bass sequence. get a sequenced synth. Oh, that's nice. Just give me an idea for another track this actually.
really nice. So those are the arpeggiated BPM style patches. We now have some bells. You can never have a patch library without bells. If all else fail, add bell. It's always a good thing to do. Uh, let's do a different key. of a bell symphony. Bells in unison. Ooh, oh, this is nice. Beyond Twilight. Lost Bells. and bottom end that. Night, night, our children. Now let's see what we can do for this one. Questions and answers. That's all your bells. Um, electro percussion. Now these will be the same type of sound you actually heard in the BPM percussions. But instead it would be single hits. really good to have them as a pattern and also as a single hit because it means you can start messing around and making your own uh, sort of your own sounds well not your own sounds your own patterns sorry about that
something here, actually. Yeah, I thought so. If the tracking is highlighted, it means it's going to be pitched up and down the keyboard as you play. If you go to a track that says, that's like pop cushion, and that tracking is dark, it means no matter where you hit the play on the keyboard, you will get the same pitch. Doesn't matter what you do, you could play a C, you could play a C up down up here, C up here, a G, and it'll still get the same pitch. So it's always worth looking to see if the tracking's on and off. If you do want a pitch, just turn the tracking on. And if you don't want a pitch, turn the tracking off. It's, uh, it's a handy thing to do. Where are we up to? Uh, let's go slap a smack. Again, it's always, as I keep saying, always worth playing with that mod wheel. And that's your percussion. Electronic mayhem. So that means one SFX territory now. Hit middle C and you're away. And your model wheel alters the position of the landing. Quite nice. Take off. I love what it says that. And the answer said a space station ran by robots ever hear the Black Knight. Now, for those of a certain age and who are British, um, may remember the wonderful sketch by Monty Python, The Black Knight. Um, if you don't know it, just merely a flesh wound is all I will say, and go and have a look on YouTube. There's your electronic mayhem. Let's go for the guitars. Acoustic dreams. I always love a bit of a guitar on, in the Omnisphere. Here we go. Uh, let's go for Sounds like a cross between a, um, reminds me of Yes band, um, the Quake and uh, Minimoog. By the way, getting distracted there.
So now we have another bias uh, patch here where the left hand is going to the bass. Right hand for higher notes. Percussion. Left hand hang drum in the right hand. So the sitar's in the left hand, hang drum's in the right. Slash your guitars. Human voices. Decimated beauty vox. boxes and always good for either pads or playing as solo leads depending on what well, the style of the uh, texture and like this one for me is great as a pad Dowing Baps <laughs> That's really nice because if you close your mod wheel you get quite a dry sound but when you increase the mod wheel you get the reverb so That's why if you can do it, get your key, your master keyboard, your controller, and it uh, to sort of get a pedal to use a mod wheel if you can. If not all um, master keyboards will allow, MIDI controls will allow you to connect a mod wheel via a plug. But if you can do it, it's great. It just frees you up so much. Temple of Ash Ashalsia. Now someone's had some fun with this, haven't they? Someone's been using chat GPT or something to put it easy, I'm sure. <laughs> That's his, unless it's just, it is a thing, it might well be a thing, I do not know. Distortion.
we now hit the keyboards nope that's no escapes I need to go back up one there we go keyboards balderton keys now if that sound is a bit too quiet for you it is for my liking but uh, some might want it that quiet if you want it a bit louder this bit here where it says minus 6 db just click on it and you might find if you get up to some like point minus two just gives that extra lift but there we go depends on what you want to achieve with that sound cityscape keys Top of a waterfall. Keys. Sorry about that noise, that's just uh, a warning that I'm running out of battery on my phone, but here we go. Escapes. Let's see what we get with these Ancestry Factory. So, the mod wheel here is darkening the noise. Nice reverb tail, that. So I just need to have a quick look at what's what's going on with that. Nice reverb tail. So I've got pro. It's just just the pro verb that's doing it. It's a lovely tail on that. So the mod wheel is varying the sound. Underground workers. Okay, that's no escapes done. Organs. Finale percussive organ.
sound is a bit dry for you, I'm sure we can do something with that. All we need to do is just move the auxiliary send a little bit. I'll just move it up to about 0.4, should give me enough. Come on, there we go. There you go, a bit more. So it just sort of like gives a bit more lift to it. It doesn't wash the whole sound out. So if you want a bit more lift to the sound without getting it washed out, and because that's the whole idea of the patches, when you move the mod wheel forward, you get more washed out sound. If you want it more open at the beginning, then just go in and just tweak the effects. But never be afraid to tweak the patch that you load up. Um, the patch is just a starting point. Where you take it from there is entirely up to you. Pads. We all love pads. And containment breach. Mental note for that one after. These pads are sublime. style pads now. Now the mod wheel here change the kind of phaser effect applied to the sound. to percussive organic so these are more percussive sounds some synth bass so the model wheel adds a bit of grunge growling onward Oh, 
love that sound. I actually use that in one of the tracks uh, I wrote for this demo tracks. Lovely, it's in the lovely bass sound. bass sounds experiment how up the keyboard because they can actually be used as lead sounds so, not the intention but you work as a leader sound Late here, and I'm up, I am up early in the morning. <laughs> Upright system. lead sound that actually as well so synth mono so some of these patches you're actually getting two for one if you think about it because the bill is a bass patch but you actually got a bass patch and a lead patch depending on how you're going to use it a lead Synth short, synth poly, split synth. So we've not got another one that we use as the bias. Uh, so if we're going to here, we see bias is playing on layer one, layer two, layer three, and layer four. So we've got a four-way bias here. This is going to be fun. So use mod wheel to vary the sound and create space with a hint of epicness. Almost a finale.
Strattle synth. synth shorts in here, some plucks. sound. Mod wheel open. Raging weenie. And a good thing with having a pedal, you can do that wiring type effect with the pedal on the mod wheel. It's just quite good. So anyway, ancestral meditation for textual soundscapes. Just as you get the feel, I'm just going to play and the single notes rock the mod wheel backwards and forwards in each one
musical journey, so uh, the description is very fitting. If you don't know what the description is, listen to the beginning of the video. great for sort of like track starters because what, what I tend to do is with some like texture for track starting is play it in octaves but start in the bottom end of the keyboard and then potentially just bring a higher note part way through see how it builds so the blue and track is absolutely perfect for that type This is a bespoke patch for the Fogel Library, made for the library itself. So you won't get this in Spectrum Sonics' own library, Thromosphere. You have to buy Ancestry to get this sound, which when put together, it sounds really cool. That's going to feature in a, a track somewhere coming to you soon, that one I can see it. Underlings. So ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Uh, this is Ancestry from Rocky Mountain Sounds. Go and pick up your copy. I think it's going to come out on the 18th of January. I think that's the uh, agreed release date for this. Um, it will be out for, and let's just have a quick check on the price. It will be up for $39. And so you get 200 presets, 63 unique sound sources, and another 200 for the Unify. So it's all unified as well, so you can use it for Omnisphere. You just have Omnisphere. If you have Unify, you can use the patches within Unify for Omnisphere. So it's double deal there. All I will say is thank you for watching this far. If you watched the whole video, absolutely thank you. Your support is very much welcome. Remember to subscribe to the channel, ding that bell, comment below if you like the library if you picked up the library uh, when it's out and you create a track link it below tell us what patches you've used and uh, we can all check them out and uh, see what we can come up with until next one catch you then